Hello and welcome to the website of the Pickens Arts and Cultural Alliance. In this series of videos, I'm going to show you how to use this website in the best way to get the information that you need. My name is Lisa Schnellinger. I'm a board member of the Pickens Arts and Cultural Alliance and I'm the website editor and administrator. Before we start touring the site, I want to introduce a few terms so that we can understand each other. So first of all, if you look at the page, yours may look just a little different depending on the size and type of monitor you have and the kind of browser you're using. But it should basically look like this. When we look at the top of the page up here, you'll see at the very top we have a series of words here that's called the top navigation and we'll talk about navigation or how to make your way around the website in a different video. That's the second video. The other thing I wanted to point out up here is what's called the banner. That's this strip across the top. It has the logo of our organization and the name of it. It's a design element so you won't really have to know anything about it, but that's what it's called. If you scroll down the page, you'll see pretty quickly that the basic design of the site has two columns or sections. In the right hand side you have what's just referred to as the right hand column. Now it's pretty typical on a website that that column has extra links to resources or things that are going on that readers need to know about. So those elements are basically the same on all the pages. If you look on other pages of the site, this right hand column will basically stay the same. So that's the right hand column. In the main column right here, it's the center column. It's a little wider than the other column and that's because that's the main place that you're going to look for new things. So anything that's in the main column goes in descending chronological order. So the most recent news is always on top and the least recent is below that. There's usually only four or five things on the front page or home page and you can see the older ones by going down here and clicking on older entries. What we call down here, the correct name for that, is the footer, just like the footer in a document. The articles on the main page are called posts. So you can see that they'll say posted in uh, and if you hear people talk about, oh yes I just posted something to my website, that's what they mean. A post can be text, pictures, video, or some combination of all of those. Pages are something different. Posts are articles that are posted. Pages are static, meaning that they stay the same all the time until the website editor changes them. The pages are things that we want you to refer to over and over again so they pretty much stay the same. We'll go through those one at a time but I just want to show you for now what some of the static pages are. The contact us page is where you'd go obviously to get a hold of us. It's a pretty typical form that are that's used on websites so that people can contact us. There are also pages like events Events shows the calendar of regional things going on in Pickens County and we actually have a calendar that combines several. The idea is that even though the events on the calendar change, the page itself doesn't really change. It's always going to be a calendar. That leads to another concept that you really might want to understand. Some of the content is, as I said, static, meaning it doesn't really change much. The About Us page 
is pretty much the same all the time. It's the same basic information about our organization and our vision and mission and who's on our board. Dynamic pages though are those where the content is changing um, and sometimes it changes automatically without me, the editor, having to do any work at all. So that events calendar that you saw is something that is somewhat dynamic. It means that it changes all by itself as events come into that calendar. Another thing that changes is on the home page or on the other pages, that right hand column, that content also changes dynamically because as you can see we have a little heading here for tater patch players and sharp top and those things change whenever tater patch or sharp top updates their website that changes sometimes we have posts where the contact or the content actually changes as well here you can see i have this interesting little gizmo which calls in pictures from flickr which is a photo sharing website and that little thing will change whenever somebody adds a new picture and tags it as talking rock on Flickr the little thumbnails that you see here will also change without me doing anything about it the other thing you need to know about is interactive um, that means that you as a viewer have chances to interact with the site it isn't just a brochure, it's something where we want you to participate. So we give you lots of chances to do that. You'll learn more about that in upcoming videos. Uh, for now though, the final thing that you need to be reminded about is that one of the ways the site is interactive is with links. You can follow links from many, many places on our site to get more information. You'll see here in this post about the Blue Ridge Writers Conference, there's a link to Chris Bauman, who is the author. There's a link to the email address for the Blue Ridge Mountain Arts Association, and there's a link to their website right there. There are other things though on the page that are linked. If you run your mouse over this part, you'll see that if you just click on the word literature, you'll get all the things we've written about literature or if you click on the category of regional you'll get everything that we've posted in regional so all of those links anytime you see something underlined it's usually a link so those links are just windows on other sources of information about arts and culture in Pickens County and you can see that the right hand column has lots more links but we'll be discussing that in the next video on navigation. Thanks for watching this video and we hope you'll come again soon to our website.